Okay, a little hidden mana about flights. If you were on your ball earth and you wanted to fly from Australia to South Africa, you'd think this direct line, the shortest distance between a straight line would be your normal path. But as you might not know, there are no direct flights from a southern continent to a southern continent. This combination cannot exist on a ball. And here's an example. If you put in a flight for any, you could do try any combination. Sydney to Johannesburg. This is the exact uh, thing I, I just pointed out. Go here on the ball to here. For some reason, when you book these flights, it's got you going to Hong Kong or uh, like anywhere else. It goes always into the Northern Hemisphere, which makes absolutely no sense. If you're going from here to here, you don't go up here. But if you look at the flat earth map, you'll see you're going from Australia, you go straight across here. You can make a layover in any of this. They still are using the shortest distance between uh, two points. Um, this, uh, in 20, this is the international flight map system. This is what the, the, the planes all use. It makes absolutely no sense. In 2016, after the, uh, blow up of the flat earth, the media pulled this propaganda stunt, uh, because, uh, they were, people were like, yeah, prove it, do a flight. Like no one was flying and you're doing all these crazy flights. So they actually hired... John Travolta to be their spokesperson so they can put it on the news for everyone to see to put uh, uh, people this arrest. This is real life. The Green Star is an ambassador for Qantas Airlines and he's at this news conference in Santiago to promote new flights between Australia and Chile. I'm very, very proud to be part of this inaugural flight today uh, marrying... Uh... This is a media stunt. This is a total media stunt. This uh, flight is accomplished by um, what you're seeing here in front of you is the weather on the ball earth. It doesn't make any sense. If you convert it to the flat earth, you could see that all the weather just travels around in different patterns. Um, in order to accomplish this flight from Santiago, Chile to Australia, what they did is they tapped into this outer um, ring and it's the jet stream that travels about 700 miles an hour. So they can actually do this flight by, by doing a, a crazy uh, thing. So uh, they put it on the news and um, this is their way of, uh, of uh, convincing the masses uh, not to worry about such things. Um, this is as if you if you put in uh, Google, this is what comes up. I tried to book a flight, Santiago, Chile to Australia, and it just like this travel math of fourteen hours, like it's just showing you how long that it can be done. Um, you'll you'll also find that a lot of these flights are cancelled. If you watch and track one, you'll see oh they're taking passengers, and then the last minute it's cancelled. It doesn't happen, or they run it a ghost. It doesn't matter because there's actually no GPS tracking on any of the flights that are in our um, southern hemisphere. GPS is, is not global positioning anything. Because otherwise, Sirius Radio wouldn't just work here in North America. Or, or cut off at the Mexican border. Um, they're, they're messing with us and the flights really prove it, people.